Before we get into our studies, we always open up in a word of prayer. I know there were a lot of persons who had asked how can they join or be a part of this Bible study girl talk group. But at this time, it's it's just intimate with a few of my sister and her friends and it's not yet open to the public to attend because it's in a personal space. So y'all know um, that last meeting we had discussed the Ten Commandments in the book of um, Exodus and then I had sent a message in the group that I wanted y'all to write down your habits mm-hmm. on, on what, what, what is causing you to not fully commit and surrender to God and so we would discuss it and say how we would work on it step by step. Okay. So I need y'all to tell me what are your habits and how your what steps are y'all going to take to work on getting rid of them. I know, you know, we are still human, but we, not, we shouldn't use that as an excuse because Jesus came as human in the flesh because he is God in the flesh when he born unto, we were born for Mary. So we're going to get into that tonight. Also, we're going to talk about worldly women versus godly women. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So my bad habit is first picking up my phone before I even acknowledge God. I want to be able to read the Bible from front to back or I'll be able to explain a scripture and stuff like that. And yeah, that's it for me. And I would like to go to church more than I usually do now. Okay. Um, my habits, to be honest, would be uh, fornication. Um, I guess myself first and more than I usually used to. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, I have this bad gossip habit. I need to get the people. <laughs> Yeah. For me, I also have challenges with gossiping, even though it's going to be intentional. Um, one thing, there's an, a conversation started and then one thing go on, lead on to the next. So that's something I am also putting for God to deliver me from, is gossiping. But other than that, I don't have like no drinking habits or cursing or whatever. That was never like in my vocabulary, so that's not a temptation for me. But like I said, the gossiping part, I really want to be fully delivered from that. Yeah. Um, a habit for me is also gossiping, and unlike Dalian, most of the time mm-hmm. my my own is intentional. And from what I read in the Bible and what I've understood is that gossiping is also a sin, and God does not condone and gossip, and He don't like gossip gossipers. So that is something I want to really work on, along with. Like I mentioned earlier, um, reading my Bible and sticking and learning. So we Bible. all can agree that gossiping is our main challenge that we need to be delivered from. However, I had some of the young ladies read some of the scriptures that was in reference to our topic that we are about to about to discuss tonight. So, for just women, Proverbs 21, 10 to 31. Do not conform to popular fads. A treasure is more valuable than movies. A husband has full confidence in abilities and words. She has strong integrity and family values. She brings her husband no shame or harm to him. She is consistently good all the days of her life. She works to help the family. She is a wise steward of her money, understands that the male seed. Because you know God gave man dominion. You understand? He put, he, he put humans in charge. Everything that was discussed was not recorded on camera, therefore it may seem like we were jumping from one topic to the next, but actually everything had tied into what we were discussing. A lot of men in prison, less fathers in the home, you understand? A lot of men will be women. Yes, he is trying to, he's trying to turn the truth into a lie, so he getting these men to think that, okay, or... We're going to have to respect me regardless. No. Mm-hmm. Give them something to respect. Mm-hmm. And a man's supposed to be submitted, submit, submissive to God. Once a man is submissive to God, that woman can fall in line. Mm-hmm. You hear me? But like, this generation, many people mm-hmm. want to do that. They, and they, they feel so um, following God is like too soft or and manly enough. Yeah, they don't public. 9 verses 31. We know that God does not listen to sinners. He listens to the godly person and who does his will. Right here we let were talking about how God. prayer works and, and if God has our prayer, we pray for people or even though we are living in sin. The Bible says, 
the enemy transform himself to an angel of light. So everything may be going good for you. Oh, go ahead, my prayer. Yes, you can answer my prayer. That time, even the devil is blessed with things too. Exactly. That time, even even gotta be going down. And that's what the enemy. What the enemy does. So at this time, I'm just sharing clips of what we were discussing tonight. I mean, end up going over two hours, and that's how interesting it was. So that you could perish. I'm saying you could perish for them. That's what he does. So you see, when you, when you see sweet eyes, okay, they, oh, sweet eyes get treated better than white. Of course, because that's the plot of the yeah. enemy. We end up discussing marriage and how we dealt with our husbands. Therefore, everything that we discussed tonight was not recorded because it came very personal. Person started to share their personal experiences. This is our food that we had to eat after we had a discussion and then we played a game in which I will share with you all. It was really, really fun and good. We just want God to get the glory at the end of the day and lives will be transformed. So that is our main What are some of the bad habits you're trying to get rid of? Using the Lord name and being for example. Okay. <laughs> what are some of your habits you want to get rid of? I want to get rid of possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay.